guys, uh, I've just met this lovely uh, ABC crew. <laughs> I won't say a couple, but I'll say the ABC crew here in Cairns. And they've just interviewed me in regards to the cyclone. So are we getting a cyclone, guys? Uh, or are we just getting a lot of rain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As the official broadcaster, we can only yeah. say, go, to, go look at the bomb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as my esteemed colleague Connie here said, there is a cyclone at the moment. It's a cyclone in the Brisbane newsroom running around <laughs> in a panic about this uh, impending cyclone. Here in Cairns, we're pretty chill with that whole thing. And, and if I flip this on you guys, are you concerned about it? I've been through quite a few of these that have just turned into non events. Uh, recently became a dad, so tiny Congratulations. Little more, I think it, tiny little bit more worried as a result of that, but yeah, I'll I'll be I'll be taking it seriously when I see cattle you know, <laughs> flying through the air. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks guys. I'll just get myself in there. <laughs> Landed here in Cairns, and all the hype in Cairns is about the storm. Is the cyclone going to hit? It's currently off the coast, and it's a category four at the moment. Uh, it's a little bit windy here, but I'm not too sure if it's as a result of the actual uh, oncoming cyclone, or if it isn't. But apparently, apparently, it's set to hit sometime early next week, in the next few days, that is. Uh, I am here in Cairns, it's sunny, but at the same time just a tad windy. Apparently, once again, apparently, no one knows much about it, but the weather's meant to be good for the next two days, but at the same time, uh, there's a bit of panic and there's a, there's a lot of chatter about this cyclone, so is it going to hit or is it not going to hit? I'm going to walk around and see what the thoughts and feelings of people are uh, in relation to this cyclone. Let's see if we can get it right and let's see if people uh, are actually scared, concerned, or they don't care, or maybe they're used to it. Let's take a walk in Rusty's Market and see what we can find. A trip to Cairns is not complete without getting yourself sugarcane juice. My sugarcane juice has got lime, it has mango, it has no sugar. It's very sweet. Look at the colour on that. It's bright yellow. It's, uh, it's got a lot of mango in there. $8 for this large sugarcane mango and lime drink very reasonable just here at Rusty's and come and get yourself a juice don't worry about the cyclone enjoy your time here if the cyclone's gonna hit it's gonna hit get your juice enjoy yourself there's a lot going on here there's heaps of people about uh, let's kick on So I've taken some time out to come to La Crepe here at Rusty's Market. It's right behind me, it's right there. Uh, they're famous for their crepes. There's a lot of people waiting for their food here. So I've got my number as well. I'm number two. Waiting for my crepes. It's been recommended by the journalists that interviewed me uh, when I landed here in relation to the Cannes Cyclone. There we go. There's that kind of main thread uh, of the story again, Can Cyclone, and they said you need to go and eat here at La Crepe. So 
looks as though it's got a fusion of ingredients in there. Uh, Semi-Mediterranean. I ordered, I think I ordered the pumpkin feta crepe. Uh, let's see how it turns out. So there's big, big expectations of this crepe. I've been walking around Rusty's uh, this morning, Rusty's Market, quite busy. I've tried to chat to a few people about the cyclone, they don't want to come on camera, but I won't give up. So everybody, I've got Felix here from Germany. Hi guys, how are you? He told me he's a Borussia Dortmund supporter, is that true? <laughs> no, actually not. <laughs> For Leverkusen. Leverkusen. I know for Leverkusen. So my friend Felix is here with his family. Yes, with my sister and my missus. Sister and girlfriend, or wife yes, and missus. Yeah. And they're here touring Australia. And the first question I asked Felix was around the cyclone. And what did Felix have to say? So we're um, traveling down the East Coast, down to Melbourne. And um, we're actually on with Sundays during the cyclone, supposed to be. We'll see if that happens and see how it goes. Hopefully the cyclone's not going to hit the East Coast, but we wish for the best. You never know. I do pray that it doesn't hit because I want these guys to have a great holiday. And the Whit Sundays, Felix, is amazing. I was there this time last year. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful place. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. So fingers crossed, guys, and hopefully Felix and the family have a great time here. Appreciate it. Peace. See you guys. <laughs> Rightio, this is the crepe. Look at that. Look at the presentation. Let me spin that around. It's an artisan crepe. So what do we got here? We got feta, we've got pumpkin, we've got greens. This is going to be great. Bye. Thank you, bye. Alrighty time to eat our crepe. Look how good that looks. I spoke to the owner. He said they've been here for three years uh, working out of this particular food court area in Rusty's. Very tasty. We also had some cyclone talk as well. Very nice, very filling already. And our friends have been here for three years. Is yes. that right? Yes, that's right. Three years in this beautiful part of Cairns at Rusty's Market. Yes. And it's called La Carte, is that right? La Creperie. La Creperie, sorry, La Creperie. Yeah. And you'll find it here in the food court area. Yeah, I bought this uh, place from the Frenchman. Yep. So this is the authentic uh, French style uh, crepe. crepe. Did he actually uh, reveal his uh, ingredients and secret recipe to you at the same time? I did and uh, I improved it. Myself. Oh, you improved it? Yeah, because I used to be a Italian chef in Tokyo. Wow. Yeah. And is there a Japanese touch to the crepe as well? A Japanese essence? I think so. You think so? Yeah, the way <laughs> I cook the, the veggie. Very good. You really can't beat the bananas in cans, especially these small ones. Amazing. The best bananas are up here in cans. These little finger bananas are just so sweet. You can probably eat a, a bunch of them, like 20 of them. And the people are so nice. I just wanted one. They just gave it to me. Yeah, eat it. Bananas everywhere. Okay. So I've just sorted out my accommodation didn't have anything booked just turned up actually and now I'm standing in front of these alien looking type of trees but I'm gonna walk down to the beach go down to the coast which is not too far away from here 
and I'm going to see who's there and there's there's also a number of places that I want to show you a number of interesting places hopefully we can squeeze that in before there's any rain I'm walking through the main Cairns Square at the moment it's hot it's overcast not too many people around at the moment I think everyone must be at the resort side pool I'm heading down to the beach it's not a it's not a part of the beach where you can swim it's a part where there's uh, actually a number of uh, wildlife that actually live there and there's a series of mud flats and it's quite popular so I'll take you there and show you that and there's this awesome walking track all along the coast and a lot of people are there walking and enjoying the views so we're heading there now this is the main square in Cairns gets pretty lively tonight Friday and Saturday nights is very lively there's an awesome tree behind me I love Cairns it's a great holiday destination it's not too expensive by the way my accommodation which I'll add as of today is only $68 a night so there's a lot of cheap places or cheaper uh, private room you can hire and stay in the heart of Cairns I'll drop down at into the link at the bottom and tell you where I'm staying won't tell you now though so I'll be staying there for a few days there's hostels as well hostels are quite popular here although the hostels are mainly for people between the ages of 18 to 35 so if you book a hostel read the terms and conditions and make sure you fall within the age bracket if you're over 35 not every hostel will accept you the beach is just that way not too far to go this is one of the most iconic areas in Cairns and it's the lagoon so in this lagoon a lot of people come here to swim and it's got uh, salt water in there and people swim here because you can't swim in the sea the seas has actually got stingers in there and it gets a bit dangerous and not every section of the sea in Cairns is swimmable so what we have here is we have the lagoon and the lagoon is salt water and quite safe as well because there's also guards here lifeguards that overwatch what is happening in the lagoon so a lot of people come here to cool off and it's a really nice part of Cairns you see there's the beach in the background also but people also come here to, to, to relax as well and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around this whole area and give you a different perspective of just what exists near this lagoon and you can see in the distance the beautiful forests that hug the coastline here in Cairns very picturesque and in the mornings there's awesome uh, sunrises here so I do want to come in here in the morning and get a nice sun sunrise this is the lagoon and that's that's where I came from that's where uh, my hotel is and that's where the Cairns Central and Rusty's market is and we have a nice walking path here on the promenade and here are the mud flats so at a particular time of day we have a lot of birds that come here and feed off the mud flats there's a lot of crabs in there and other sea creatures 
but I'll go for a short walk up here and show you what's up this way. We've got a Ferris wheel here as well today. So there must be some activity here at night. So standing here on the coast at the moment, on the shoreline, we have the historic mud flats here and there's a number of birds. We've got the bin chickens down there digging away, but there's also other exotic birds like pelicans and uh, all types of wildlife come here. And I actually just saw a sign here and it talks about the birds that come here. There we go. We've got a pelican over there. We've got the bin chickens here. And then, you, you know, if we sit down and then um, we'll, we'll realize that there's a, a lot of mud crabs that come up here onto the shoreline as well. So look, this is it. This is Cairns. This is the coastline. This is the promenade. I can see some dark clouds rolling in. The topic of today's video has mainly been weather. Look at that, you've got the ferris wheel in the background, looks good. But um, it's just it's just the way it's played out. I've, I'm up here during the, um, the onset of a potential cyclone. Will it hit? No one knows. People hope it doesn't, doesn't hit, but if it does, we may be here to capture it. The sea is sleeping. Not too many waves. It's very calm. We've got people riding their bikes. People walking up and down the promenade. Behind me, we have a number of restaurants and cafes that are situated here on the pier. The pier is just there. And these cafes and restaurants are also, once again, very busy at night. I recall walking past here last year and it was just very rowdy. A lot of people out on that patio, eating and drinking. A bit too loud for me. I kind of prefer this side of town. Palm trees, nice green luscious grass. You've got some nice hills in the background. Tropical paradise. I love Cairns. It's such a relaxing place. You hear the birds chirping. There's people all around the world who would love to be here right now in Cairns. I know for a fact that the Japanese love Cairns. They love to come to Cairns and holiday here. I know a lot of family and friends abroad who always talk about Cairns with me. Look at this. Where in the world can you get this type of weather? Warm weather, even though it's overcast. Rav palm trees, beautiful clean boulevards, luscious green grass, entertainment on one side if you like. This is great. Look at that beautiful hotels overlooking the beach in the background. And it is starting to rain now. So I'll head back into the shelter, but even though it's raining, it's great. It's no need to panic. That also, another great aspect of Cairns as well is the laid back attitude and approach to life by the locals. Everyone is happy and smiling and, and always got time for a chat. I said earlier, I went out to the markets today. Everyone's got a smile on their face. And that's the type of attitude that you want to greet you when you go on your holiday. So maybe Cairns is the place for you.